Yes. Oh, hey. Where have? I've been using Vim for about two years. I'm conflicted as whether I should use VS Code instead. Reasons such as autocomplete and UI debugging tools. I really like using Vim. Any thoughts? Stay with Vim. It's simpler. Also, web install.dev. Vim Essentials. The thing about Vim is that you can use it anywhere, as you're probably well aware. It's available on all systems. Well, at least VI. VI is available on all POSIX systems. So Mac, Linux, your router, your watch, your thermostat. Uh, and basically, if you could get into any device, it's got VI there. And so that's great. The, the whole reason I learned to use the, the HJKL for uh, navigating is because one day I logged into a server that didn't have them. It was probably a router or something and I needed to edit some files and I couldn't use the arrow keys. I had to use HJKL and then I thought, okay, I'm learning these now. And I did. Um, but anyway, I'm, uh, here's, here's Vim Essentials. Makes it super easy to get set up with a very reasonable config on VPS or new laptop or whatever. But yeah, I, VS Code, I don't know what it offers other than that, I I don't know. If you've, if you've got, if you're competent enough to be using Vim, I don't know why you'd switch to VS Code. Again, is the autocomplete gonna help you or hurt you? Um, because I would, I would say, if you wanted to write bad code, you can already do that on your own, right? Why have something autocomplete bad code for you? I mean, it's not, some of the autocomplete is nice when it works, but my problem, I'm mean, go ahead and, and, and use all the autocomplete stuff for a little bit. But I think you might find that what you get with Vim Essentials is pretty good enough. I do want to add Vim Super Tab. But I think with the default configuration, if you hit tab, you do get autocomplete um, for some things. I could be wrong about that. But if you use Vim Essentials and then you use, if you're doing JavaScript, you need to have a TSC installed. So this is my presentation at the Utah JavaScript conference uh, towards the end of, the, of September. I'm gonna go ahead and Give you this JS with types. Uh, you do want to make sure you're using TSC so that you get all the nice little ditties that you see me getting as I'm doing the JavaScript here. The reason I got into Vim was Pinky Pains with Emacs. I actually switched my keyboard layout to Dvorak, and I use I use Better Touch Tool and Carabiner. Although now I think. Carabiner is updated to the point where I might not need Better Touch Tool, but I like Better Touch Tool for... Well, I would still install Better Snap Tool. Oh, excuse me if I didn't have Better Touch Tool, because it's nice. For the longest time, I thought that was built into Mac OS. I didn't realize that it was because I was using Better Touch Tool that the snapping was enabled. But anyway, uh, yeah, I, I reassigned... Uh, caps lock to delete and delete to forward to delete and three or four other keys uh, so that I wouldn't get pains. 